Okay, so you, I suppose you think you see an image in front of you here. Well, in a sense, what you're looking at is an image form video-wise. But at a more basic level, you don't see any objects at all. You see the light that reflects from the objects. You are a participant in an integrated process. If you look at this image, like say you're looking at this image right here. It may appear that my hand is going right through this. And it is, because what's happening, there's no image here. There's nothing really solid here. It's like about here somewhere, I think. The light is actually reflected from off an object, which is over there. And the light is reflected off that object, and it, it flows out all over the room, in a sense, reflects all over the room. Some of it is striking this mirror. This mirror is concave and acting like a lens to then refocus the image out here. If you were to ask me, or if I was to ask you, well, do you see that, that cube? You'd say, yes, I see the cube. And you don't see the cube. You see the light reflected from the cube. If I was to ask you, where is that cube? You'd say, well, the cube is right there. Well, visually, if I said visually, where is the cube? You'd say, I see it right there. Well, you don't see the cube. You see the light reflected from the cube. Now, my contention is then the cube is everywhere in the room that the light can get. And that's visually how it works. All we've done here it's captured a small bit of that reflection and focus it here. Well, guess what? That's the same process that's going on in your eye. Very similar kind of imaging processes. And so there's a whole lot going on. And in fact, this whole process functions very much like the lenses in our eyes because it's turning this image inside out, upside down, backwards. But what's neat about a hologram is you can quite literally take and have the light that's reflected off of that object and record it in a holographic plate. Say this is a holographic plate. Then you can take this holographic plate and what we call reconstruct it, run the laser back through that, and illuminate the light or have the light that comes out of that hologram. And it can serve as a lens or a mirror to have this ability to refocus or to project out here in space this three-dimensional image. So then we take a second hologram and as you can see I can quite literally move through this image. This is where the image is completely behind it. I focus through it and now I'm behind it. Well this is called the image plane and we can make a second hologram in a sense what we call a transfer of the light from the first hologram and, and focus it here and make a hologram of a hologram. 